Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. Uh, it's, it's Monday, the beginning of the week here. I wanted to um, shoot a quick video. I had some time while I was out making errands to run into a local comic book shop. I haven't been to the shop in a while and I guess they expanded. They had added a, almost double their size um, and had a bunch of back issue bins and you know, I thought they were dollar bins, but uh, they ended up being two dollar bins. <laughs> so that was a little, I don't know, it was a little frustrating when I went to the counter. I should have probably negotiated that a little bit, a little bit more. But yeah, whatever. I got some really good books, kinda, so I want to kind of highlight what I was able to to pick up and hunt. You know, it took maybe thirty minutes of me rifling through some long boxes and found some pretty cool stuff. So I don't do this very often. Um, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do a lot of hunting. Um, you know, the shops I go to, a lot of them are pretty well picked. I mean, once in a while I get lucky, but so I don't spend a whole lot of time and effort on it, you know, trying to locate all kinds of really, really good deals on dollar books. But so first off, let's get started. I um, got this in the mail. I had ordered this on eBay. Um, this is the Spider Geddon, I believe it's issue number one. Um, this is the New York Comic Con Molino variant, so it's black and white with the colored Spider-Man. Um, limited to only 3,000 copies. Yeah, I mean, I got a good deal on this. I think I paid eight or nine bucks for it with shipping, so, um, yeah, it was kind of my favorite of all the variants. You know, there's probably ten variants on this, not including, uh, some, uh, store exclusives, but... Uh, I like this. I think Molina did a great job on it. Um, it's my favorite cover, and I like the black and white with the with the color contrast. So, picked that up. Um, I had a pretty good deal on that. The other one. Now, this is the first of my um, dollar books. Well, two dollar books. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, this one's in pretty good shape. It's a uh, Batman three seventy three uh, appearance of Scarecrow. There's nothing really going on in this issue it's just kind of a it's kind of a creepy cover you know reminded me of Halloween since Halloween is in a couple days I thought well this looks pretty cool I don't have it in my collection it was a pretty nice copy yeah, there's one little tiny tear there in the corner um, other than that it's you know it would have been definitely near mint um, if not for that but yeah a nice copy though I mean it presents well good colors no spine stresses at all so yeah I like it it's definitely a really cool Halloween themed cover and you know it's a popular one I've seen other people highlight this book before um, but nothing really significant it's not a key to pick up or anything it's just just a really really nice uh, cover with scarecrow and and kind of creepy nice little Halloween uh, style there so pick that up for two bucks not bad um, oh by the way this for my video yesterday uh, I picked up a second copy. My second copy in the mail came of Superman, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, number 139. This is the Don Rickles. And there's also a first appearance of somebody that's in the new Arrow show. I, I should have looked this up. Sorry, guys. Uh, I can't remember who the person is that's in this issue. Maybe it's uh, the Guardian. I think that might be who it is. It's somebody else that plays the Guardian. Uh, but Kirby's Fourth World, you know, just a really nice copy. This thing's like even better than, I mean, the one I got yesterday was, you know, was really, really good. I mean, definitely a 9.0 copy. This one's definitely like a 9.4, even, even better. The spine is like absolutely perfect and edges are really nice. For an old book, uh, to find one in this condition is pretty sweet. So, you know, nothing significant other than I, I think the cover's cool and I like Don Rickles and it's a piece of history, you know, Kirby's one of Kirby's later issues there with the fourth world. So I got a good deal on that. Um, go over some, I picked up some really cool Moon Knights at that shop where, the, you know, for $2 a piece. Um, this is number 19. And I think that is a Synchroniz. I'm always pronouncing his name wrong. <laughs> Sinchivich, Sim, uh, son of a gun. I'll call him Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I always screw that name up. There's uh, number uh, 20. So pretty cool covers. Um, yeah, 19 and 20. I mean, they're really good shape, too. These things are like 9.0 or higher, definitely. Maybe even 9.2 or 9.4, perhaps. 
So that was a real good one. Uh, this is one of my favorites of, besides 25 is my favorite. Obviously that's the book that everybody goes after. You know, it's, there's nothing, nothing significant in the book other than it's a very, very famous cover. Um, I love this cover too though. This is uh, another, another Sinkovich, Sinkovich, I think that's it. I think I got it right now. <laughs> it finally came into my brain. This is another Sinkovich cover, uh, number 23. And I also have number 24, another Sinkovich cover. Uh, yeah, really cool design covers. I like them. I haven't read the, these stories yet, um, but, you know, I'll get into that. But really, really nice find for $2 a piece. I mean, this thing's in a really nice shape, too. This is definitely like a 9496. So to find that copy. And by the way, these books were in so... They were in the, the worst poly bags I think I've ever seen. <laughs> they were they so yellow these poly bags. It's I'm always shocked when I see go to shops and I see that. You know, some people just don't care. I don't know. Maybe the guy just bought a collection from somebody and he just threw it through the box in the back and you know didn't really. You know, I don't know. To me, if I owned a shop, I I would have. I'm not saying I would have these books in mylar. Obviously, I wouldn't. But I would have them in up to date. Um, bags and boards for sure. Those bags and boards were it probably as old as the comic book, which is ridiculous. So that's just another pet peeve of mine <laughs> when I see like a really nasty bag and board. Uh, this is number 21, another uh, Sinkovich cover, really, really cool cover. Creepy, definitely a nice Halloween based type of cover. That's another reason I liked picking this up for two bucks and it's in like really nice shape. I mean, pretty nice shape, <laughs> definitely near mint. And then this is uh, number 28, uh, another Sinkovich cover. So all Sinkovich covers, Moon Knight, early Moon Knight. Uh, I also found this in the, the bins for two bucks, uh, New, New Mutants number 27. This is the, I believe, the second appearance of Legion. Uh, I have his first full, number 26. I don't have number 25. I was kind of trying to hunt that down, and it wasn't in the boxes. So, yeah, I, I need to probably get that at some point. Legion's a pretty... Pretty good character um, in the Marvel Universe. Obviously, they have that show that's done well. I don't know if it's been picked up for a third season. I know there's two seasons out on it. Uh, I watched the first season. I haven't watched all of the second season, but, you know, it's definitely out there. Um, and it's a pretty cool character, very powerful character, one of the most powerful in the Marvel Universe. So there's number 27, really nice shape, too. This thing's, you know, 9-4 or better, easily, so... Yeah, it's probably ten dollar book, and for for two bucks, not bad, not too bad. Um, this one, Daredevil two thirty eight. I just love this cover. You know, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, but the I turned it when I, I should have pulled the book out and looked at it better. The back cover of it is really wrinkled. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I don't have this in my collection, believe it or not. I used to own this when I was a kid. I don't. I definitely would like to pick up a, a higher grade copy. This is. You know the front cover looks perfect. I mean, I mean not perfect, but it's definitely eight five or nine zero the front cover. But the back cover is all wrinkled. So I don't know what happened to this book. The back cover got, you know, I kind of wish I hadn't bought it. I suppose, but for two bucks, it's still pretty. You know, still a nice, nice looking cover for two dollars. You can't beat that. Um, another one I found that was pretty cool was the Mighty Thor number three thirty eight. This is the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Um, 337 is the one I need to get. So I, you know, I was almost bought one an auction a couple weeks ago. And I was looking at getting this 338 as well. So I picked this up for $2. I mean, it's in really nice shape too. Um, pretty nice grade. So uh, not bad for two bucks. Um, this easily goes for you know, 15 bucks probably on eBay in, in decent grade. So I still need to get 337, the first uh, first appearance of Beta Ray, Bull, uh, Beta Ray Bill. But uh, there's his second appearance, which is good to have. Uh, another one I picked up, uh, Sleepwalker number two. This is the first appearance of 8-Ball. Yeah, it's kind of a campy character. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this calls for you, Bugface. I mean, this is, uh, it's kind of... Kind of a, more of a campy type thing, but uh, you never know. This book, you never know. They might use him in a movie or a series or a TV show, maybe as a spoof. But yeah, it's the first appearance of a character, so or of a villain. Um, I don't think anybody's significant, but it's in really high grade and 
Uh, I don't have any of these Sleepwalkers, so I know number one would also be a good book to get at some point. Um, but yeah, number two for two dollars and really high grade, not a bad, not a bad pickup. Um, and then last but not least, the other things I found, which I had been looking for for a long time, is Teen uh, Tales of the Teen Titans number forty-two. This is book one of the Judas Contract. Um, I've got all the other copies, book two, book three, and book four. Book four is the one to get. That is the first appearance of Nightwing, or the, rather the first appearance of Dick Grayson in the Nightwing costume. So, you know, that's a marquee book. That's probably a $70, 80 maybe $90 book in high grade. Uh, and I do have that in high grade as well. So I, and I picked that up for like 40 bucks. So I, this was like a year or so ago, and I picked that up. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, but I never had a number 42, so... I picked up 42, and they also had number number 43 there for two dollars. These are in high grade, by the way. So, you know, I've seen these go for 15 to 20 dollars uh, on eBay just because people are looking to complete the run of the Judas Contract, the four book run. And then, so when I was there, I picked that up, and then they had another set in another box. So this store was pretty disorganized. Um, their books were. Not alphabetized very well. You know, I found this in another box on the other end of the store <laughs> for $2. Uh, and also in pretty good grade. I mean, these are pretty high grade, um, $2 each. So not bad. I might sell a set of those um, on eBay. I don't need two sets, but for 2 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So that was the results of my hunting today. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I don't hunt very often, so I would love to hear your maybe some recent hunting you did uh, at one of your local shops and what odd, you know, odd thing you found or what cool book you found for a really cheap deal. I'd love to hear those comments. Uh, also, I wanted to show, this is a book that I'm thinking about getting. Um, this is uh, Red Sonia number 20. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Red Sonia number 20. Uh, this is the Perillo variant. So this was a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, so if you went to the con, you could you could have picked this up uh, at Dy at uh, Dynamite Dynamite Entertainment's booth for twenty five bucks. Uh, there's only five hundred copy of copies of these made, and I'm thinking about buying one. I, you know, there's a couple websites you can buy it for around fifty fifty five dollars. On eBay, they they're selling for like eighty to ninety dollars. Um, I think the cheapest I've seen on eBay is about 80 bucks. So that might, might be a good deal. I'm considering doing it. I've been sort of getting away from buying these variant covers. It's issue number 20, you know, Red Sonia. I mean, it's total cover buy. There's nothing significant going on in the book at all. It's just I thought it was a really, really cool uh, piece of artwork um, by, by Perillo. I like, you know, I do have Red Sonia's first appearance in Conan, so... Um, yeah, I might buy it. I don't know. It's just, it's just. I thought it's a really cool image, and it is pretty limited, so that might hold the value up long term. Who knows? You, you just don't know. But it is. It's a nice virgin cover, and there's only 500 made, so I might pick it up. We'll see. Um, so that's what I wanted to highlight for the week, uh, or for the beginning of the week. I will have a video out on Wednesday, highlighting um, new comic books that are coming out the following Wednesday. So make sure you catch that video. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and if you can, please leave a comment. Uh, I would love to hear your comments and opinions, uh, and also what you've been experiencing as you've been hunting out in your local comic book shops. All right, guys, I will see you on Wednesday. Thanks.